the last page here, uh, I realize I've got a typo. We already talked about pie charts. We want to talk about which graph should you use. So using bar charts or pie charts is going to be appropriate anytime we have categorical data that we want to graph. But we want to talk a little bit about some of the drawbacks and some of the advantages of each of these types of graphs. So when we talk about drawbacks, there aren't necessarily any really to talk about bar charts. But there are kind of a lot to talk about with pie charts, or at least one really big drawback. The biggest drawback to pie charts is that this is hard to read. When we wrote our interpretation, at least I ended up having to rely on this chart over on the side to determine which of these pie slices were the biggest. So imagine this not being available and now looking at this chart and trying to determine where do we have the largest values, where do we have the smallest values. Um, just people in general are bad at reading pie charts. It's a difficult thing to do to make the comparisons between some of these different values. Uh, in my head, for instance, if I look at 2012 and 2003, those two slices look pretty similarly sized to me. And they aren't dramatically different from each other. Oh, I'm sorry, 2003 and 2012 actually are the same. But if I look at, say, 2012 and 2009, or this pie slice over here, all of those, if I look at them, kind of start to look somewhat similar in size. It becomes hard to tell um, or infer those kind of minor variations. So in general, pie charts are not used in professional statistical reporting. When you have a lot of slices like this, it becomes tough to make those determinations which one's biggest, which one's smallest. Versus with a bar chart, it's very easy to tell those differences between the heights of the different bars. So when we talk about advantages of each of these types of graphs, the biggest advantage is for bar charts that they're easy to use, easy to see, and since we have that ability to order them from largest to smallest, largest to largest, easy to see the variation or the differences in the heights of the different bars. So these are easy to see and understand. There are some advantages to pie charts. There's a reason that people use them. And mostly it's because they're a lot more, they can be a lot more dynamic than bar charts. One example would be if you have a pie chart and you're trying to represent the difference between just two different categories, one of which takes up way more counts than the other one, then you start to end up with this Pac-Man looking shape. So you have one shape or one category that represents, it's represented by that yellow shaded area, and then one area represented by this little blue slice. So pie charts can be great um, for very dynamic presentations. They're eye-catching, they're colorful, that's why they get used in newspapers and on television a lot. So they're great for having very dynamic and visually interesting presentations. Um, they're also good when you're making comparisons between two drastically, <clears throat> two categories with drastically different numbers of counts, because you can kind of see how that one category takes up almost that entire circle. But again, ultimately, it's up to the person reporting. to determine which tool is going to be best for visualizing the data and communicating the information that they want to get across to their audience.